The monster is hidden in the body of the older man before you who calls you sweetheart, doll, darling. The name may be kind, but the intention drips with tar. I was 14. And the middle-aged bald man in fries approached me to tell me he thought I was attractive and tried to get my number. I had long purple hair and I was clearly still a child. I denied his request and hurried back to my mother. The rest of the shopping trip included sweaty palms and shifty eyes, praying not to see him again. What if he talks to me again? Don't leave me alone, Mom. Is this what it feels like to be hunted? I was 15 when the group of grown men offered to buy my friend and I drinks if we would dance with them, on them. I had learned by then. I looked him in the eye and sent him on his way. The prey escapes claw and fang once again. The monster lurks in calloused skin, hot breath, sweat. The monster is within the boy who believes he is entitled to your attention. The monster lies within them. The monster is a silent killer, lying hidden within the charming smile of the boy, only coming out to bite when you finally demand your respect. The monster is another character in each of our stories. Another antagonist, another beast. The, not, the monster's name is never spoken. For if we speak its name, we are burned in acid, blood boiling. What went wrong? The monster hangs his long arms drooping in the door frame, eyes watching, yellowed eyes, yellowed talons, yellowed teeth behind smiles of white. Eyes skimming skirt hems, eyes scaling walls. The monster sleeps in her bed and doesn't let her go. The monster tells her it loves her blood red on sheets of snow. It hides behind television screens, lurks in our pages. It thrives in weak minds and preys on weak spirits. Webs woven with I love yous and what would I do without yous? Catch unsuspecting angels looking for love. You won't find love in the woods, my dear. Find your way out if it's not too late yet. The monster held her mouth shut. The monster makes her cry. She fell in love with the claws and gnashing teeth. The monster reaches a scaled hand down her throat, choking out the sounds. If she falls in the bedroom and no one is there to hear her, does it still count as love, as rape? Woo!